Hi, this is Molly with the Coastal Watershed Council, and welcome to a word study for the words permeable and impermeable. Let's first look at the word permeable. A surface or a material that water can move through. And this is a big word, so we can break this down by learning about the prefix. So if you look in the underlying part of the word, P-E-R, that's a prefix per, which means through. And we can also learn more about the word by looking at the suffix. So if you look at the last four letters of the word, A-B-L-E, or able, that means capable of. So what are some examples of things that are permeable? A sponge is a good example because when we pour water on a sponge, what happens to the water? It goes inside the sponge. And then if we squeeze the sponge, what happens to the water? It goes out because it's able to go outside of the sponge. Another example is grass. Because in between those little blades of grass, the water can go through the grass. Now it's your turn. Find something permeable around your home or neighborhood. And then let's record that in your student journal. So look for this page, number three, permeable or impermeable surfaces. And you see that left-hand column where it says permeable? Step number one, write, write what you find around your home or neighborhood there. So pause the video so you can go find something that's permeable and then come on back when you're ready and we'll review the word impermeable. Welcome back. So let's talk about the word impermeable. Impermeable is a surface or a material that water cannot move through. Let's break down this word. So the word impermeable starts with the prefix I am, which means not. And we already know that the suffix able means capable of. So we put that together it means that the water is not capable of going through something, just like an umbrella. Now, the purpose of an umbrella, right, is to stop the rain from hitting us. Another example of an impermeable surface are our roads, our sidewalks, the cement and concrete. Water cannot go through the concrete. And now it's your turn. Find something impermeable around your home or neighborhood, and you guessed it, let's go back to your student journal. And in the right-hand column under step two, write down things that you found around your home that are impermeable. All right, well, that's it for our word study. Have a great day, everyone.